So, some of you may have seen this video from over a year ago, just after the M2 set the new, like, compact world record or whatever it is around Neuschleifer, I decided to try and beat it. And, man, look how different the game looks compared to, like, the videos that I make now. But wait for it. Look at this sim racing peak legendary specimen right here. But anyway, I wanted to do something very similar since. And just never got really around to it, really. And I was watching this video the other day. I'm sure we're all aware of who Misha is. And this is on his second channel where he was discussing this Corvette's lap time. And towards the end of this video, he brings up this chart which has all the fastest lap times for this category of car and sat there in number one is the gt black series so that's the car we're going to use so stock the gt black series has 720 horsepower the one that i'm using has 730 horsepower which i'm sure we can you know it's just 10 horsepower um so same setup as usual some VR, some cinematic cam, actually using the cam tool thing from that previous BMW GT3 race video, and it looks sick. So let's see if we can do it. I'll catch you at the end.
across the lad in 646.576 and the gtr did it in 653 if i remember right from the top of my head but obviously you know it's a game against the real life it's just for fun i'm pretty sure with the m2 it was actually really close i was maybe like within one second of the time so that was um pretty wild but after i did this as you saw i was using the round wheel I thought I would try it again with the new wheel, with the formula wheel, uh, to see how close I would be able to get. Because the last time I tried to beat my own time around here with the round wheel and the hand controller using the formula wheel, I was a few seconds off, but this was on day one. I've had this for maybe two weeks now, and I'm really getting used to it, and I'm getting used to modulating the brake and the accelerator almost like simultaneously the same way that you guys would probably press the accelerator in the brake like if you're doing left foot braking whereas with the hand controller i can only really do one at a time but we crossed the line with the new wheel in 646.488 which is like 0.1 of a second faster which is pretty crazy really and neither of them was good laps i know that i could do better on both laps probably even more so with the formula wheel because i did mess up more turns with that one but i guess we'll call it there if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you want to see more content like this subscribe <laughs>